You're here because you're working on a vehicle with an emission failure. Your baseline tells you that you have high CO with normal HC. Remember, you may find multiple problems when diagnosing any emission failure. So use your baseline readings to measure CO reduction to verify any and all repairs. In this example, the air fuel ratio is not 14.7 to 1. It's indicating a rich mixture. When CO is high, it's the result of a rich mixture. There are several causes for rich mixtures. A quick first step is to remove the PCV valve to check for oil diluted with gas. Also, make sure the engine isn't burning oil as it will cause this failure. Connect a scan tool and look at long-term fuel trim and compare it to the oxygen sensors. Remember, you have to make sure that the oxygen sensors are good before using them to diagnose a problem. Bad oxygen sensors are common cause of this failure. In this example, the oxygen sensors are near full rich. The PCM is attempting to reduce fuel delivery. When you have a rich condition, you either have not enough air or too much fuel. If the engine isn't getting enough air because of air intake restrictions, and this would be on a speed density system, it may cause this condition. Check for carbon buildup in the throttle bore. If you have carbon buildup in the throttle bore, your decarbonization process must address the throttle bore, the intake manifold, and the back of the intake valve. If it's not an air intake problem and the fuel system isn't responding correctly to the PCM commands, go to fuel injector and fuel pressure volume testing. In this example, the oxygen sensors are again near full rich. This time the PCM is commanding the full rich condition. This indicates that an input is signaling the PCM that extra fuel is needed. It's a false signal. This isn't normal for a warm idle. Go to fuel system scan data testing. A bad catalytic converter can cause any emission failure. Go to catalytic converter testing. 